about a couple tricky ways to get the mount that if you're um, an advanced player, you might be able to use, especially for no gig. So Peach is on the, on the mat. Can you turn your head this way? This is our lapel choke.com tip of the week. Um, I have side control. Always, obviously, we're telling the students lots of shoulder pressure to control. Now, as a be we teach beginners, I'm going to blow through this real quick because I want to talk about the more advanced ways. But we're going to switch our hips, scoot our hips back. Be if you're a beginner watching this, look at Peach's uh, right arm. He can now not elbow escape, but I still have that shoulder pressure. So, as a beginner, we teach him bang right into the mount. We pull their leg down first and then bang. And typically, option, the second thing we're teaching beginners is to use a knee on belly all the way till my knee drops. First, if I had the gi on, of course, I'd get my points. Always remind the students, because now I don't have those two points to pull up on, I'm using that head to pull up on, okay? My profile is just a little bit lower. The knee slides all the way here. Now I do this big circular motion, bang, slap my foot to the outside to get a full mount. So I was here, came up to knee and belly. If I just started to come them out and didn't do that with my foot, you could potentially get that half guard back. Good. So we have the students really exaggerating, smacking their foot out there, bang. But if you're intermediate, advanced, you should already know that. That's why we're going to get fancy now. Okay. So I'm here. I'm going to do the same start. Switch your base towards your partner's legs. Scoot the hips back once or twice. The more the better. You can see the more his arm is trapped, the better. We call this the threading needle technique way of mounting. I grab my own foot, feed it in front of his body. I often won't even touch him at all. This is one of those great techniques because it takes him a full second to realize, wait a second, I've just been mounted. How did that happen? <laughs> For real, it's a, it's a real sneaky technique. So even if he's got this right leg up, I grab that foot. And I don't have, you don't have to be super flexible. Still with the shoulder pressure though, never stopping with that. Thread the needle, boom. Right on through, all right? Next option, switch the hips again. Check out his far leg. I'm gonna manipulate it so that I can put my foot right here, my left foot, and it's active. Just think of Peach's defense right now, right? Especially beginners, they just wanna keep his knee up so that it can't mount. Good, so I've manipulated it so that my leg is here. So now when Peach wants to put that leg up to stop the mount, he can't. I just have a free pass now. Throw my leg over. What do I still have? Shoulder pressure. Bang. So it's like a great binding leg in, in essence. And again, it's one of those techniques where if somebody's not used to defending against it, and they're not used to it, you're going to hit it. We're trying to be a little bit unorthodox the more advanced you get, because people know how to defend against the common Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu techniques. So even while this might look fancy, it's still super practical. So we talked about two ways to mount for beginners and two ways for the more advanced, which was to thread the needle and that last kind of great finding the leg variation. If you want to see a real sick way of mounting into a submission, watch the next video too. It'll be off the hook. Thanks, Brad Dattis, propelchoke.com. That is fight camps. Peace.